Uniswap, you got 24 hours. There we you, go. You got 24 hours, Uniswap. And I tell you what, if you do it close to the 24th hour, I'm still coming at you. go been now available on BitGet. that was our that was the first of our major exchange listings um there is another one coming very 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 soon don't have a date on it it could be today it could be monday um I'm not 100 sure when it's going to happen but let me tell you they came to us and it's a big one um i told you guys that BitGet is the lowest tier exchange it's it's in the top 15 it's the lowest ranked volume exchange that we're working with so to give you guys an idea of the ones we're working with, look 15 and up, and, and that's who we're concentrating on. Mm. Now, we're not going to any, we haven't gone to a single exchange. They have all came to us. We're not working with any lower tier exchanges to BitGet. And BitGet is a great partner of ours, and we love them, and they're awesome. Uh, it's a great platform, or whatever the case may be, like I said, then certainly um, Bitcoin is available on BitGet. They're doing a trading competition as well um, with BitKeep, which we'll come down here and we'll see this. So here's this, deposit now. This got listed last night at about um, about three in the morning. I told you I stayed, I was staying up late to retweet that is what was going on there. Mm. Uh, that's how I was able to finish the book. Coming down so here a little good. bit lower, there's a trading competition with Ben and this is 50K and USDT up for grabs. We're not doing futures trade. We're not doing derivatives trading. We're not, we're not going to take part in any longing and shorting on Bitcoin. Wow. As a statement. Okay, that's not what this coin is about. Now, if any, the way that generally works is if an exchange comes to you or you go to an exchange, you say, hey, I want to get on the derivatives platform. Uh, and then what they do is they ask you to do a market maker and they ask you to pay a listing fee and provide them with a certain amount of coins. You can't stop someone from doing it themselves. So like if Bybit did it themselves, we, we cannot stop them from that. But they, it's very, very extremely rare that someone will do that. They want you to make the market for them, okay? So what occurs, you guys are getting some real alpha about how the exchange business works here, okay? So what, what I'm saying is we're never gonna go to an exchange and want that. Uh, that that's gonna be, because we just think for crypto adoption, that's above most people's heads. That's not really what we want. We want the volume on the spot market uh, and we really want on mostly decentralized exchanges. Right now we're doing this for awareness, guys. Think about this. All of these exchanges we're gonna be listing on, they're not American exchanges. This gives Bitcoin more awareness around the world. While a lot of the stuff we're building is focused here at home in the United States. We're building here, raising awareness with the centralized exchanges and other places, people that we can't get to, okay? Mm -hmm. We now saw this stuff. Ben.eth received the takedown notice for the Bitcoin logo last... I was in London. Nope, I was in Estonia. It was my last night there. So that would have been Thursday night. Nope, Wednesday night last week. So exactly seven days after the takedown notice, which if they sent it to Ben.E, they certainly sent it everywhere that could have received it, such as Uniswap. Seven days later, all of a sudden it gets taken down? When, hmm, interesting. There's a ton of coins on Uniswap. That have copyrighted images. Oh. A, a, a ton of them. Okay. Now, people can say, well, you're, you're BitBoy. You get spotlight now. There's a big spotlight on this coin. People are watching. So, you know, maybe there's extra pressure. Okay, well, that should go both ways, shouldn't it? If, if I'm getting extra spotlight, then Uniswap should pay extra attention to me. Which means that when a top 300 coin fixes the issue, and does it within a few hours? And you send an email saying that you will fix it immediately? And now it's been two days and this is a simple button press? It's a simple button press on the Uniswap side. Certain, a button press. That's all that it is. Okay? Mm. So, <laughs> you're seeing where I'm going, aren't you? You're seeing, you're seeing where I'm going with this. We, we had thousands of people retweeting this tweet last night and tweeting their own tweets. 
towards Hayden Adams and towards Uniswap to get this issue fixed. They've already told us privately that it was the logo for sure is the issue. We went, we paid $1,500 in BNB to the trust wallet repository, got it fixed on Wednesday. All right, Wednesday or was it Tuesday? Got it fixed on Wednesday. It was Wednesday because we played yeah. pickleball, right? We got it fixed. They were very, you saw it was very responsive until suddenly we got it fixed. Now it's been two whole days, okay? The Bitcoin price, as we were getting towards more announcements, there shouldn't have been, maybe there should have been a lot of selling. Um, just, I'm just talking about traditionally based on historic trends that we've seen across crypto projects with buy the, sell, buy the rumor, sell the news. Mm -hmm. You sell a little bit closer to the events, not beforehand, right? Yesterday, before anybody even knew the exchange, before anybody even knew what our partner is today, we're going to announce. Which, to be honest with you guys, I, I think at first when a lot of people hear this partner, it's not going to move the needle for you guys. But I think when you listen to me about it, then I think you're going to understand it. But the point is, people were selling off. Didn't really make sense, right? Before the roadmap even dropped last night. Yeah. And then every time it started to move, let me tell you who understands the value of Bitcoin. The exchanges. What we're seeing from the exchanges is unprecedented. Hmm. Bybit does not go to people, okay? The, the project, the, the, the other exchange, they don't really go to people. You go to them, right? And Bitcoin has got a lot of really good deals on these as well, where fees are getting waived, things are getting lowered, extra incentives are being offered to, to uh, traders, like stuff that just doesn't happen for normal coins on a normal basis that list, okay? So you think the Uniswap's an idiot? You think, you think all the other coins? You think all the other coins or all the exchange, exchanges, excuse me, all the other exchanges get it, right? Yeah. Guys, a top 10 exchange sent a representative from Asia all the way to Bitcoin 2023, specifically with the only goal of talking to me in person. Yo. Think. Yeah. The exchanges were falling, the smaller exchanges were falling over themselves to get to me, okay? This is the power of this crypto adoption coin that you guys are going to see. But the point is, if every exchange sees it, the wallets see it too, by the way. A lot of the wallets are reaching out. If they see it, the exchanges see it, the people don't see it yet. The, the average person in crypto, they're either blinded by hate or they just don't catch the vision yet. That roadmap that I laid out last night, it is marketing on top of marketing, on top of marketing, on top of marketing. That's what you have to understand because what mm -hmm. is crypto adoption? We need people to know about it, right? Mm -hmm. But Bitcoin's going to be attached to every single one of those things. So you're telling me that Uniswap doesn't get it? That Uniswap Labs, they're just like, well, every other, look at the volume this thing's done. All of a sudden, 100 million market app out of nowhere. Well, well, you know what? I'm telling you, it is my opinion and my speculation that there is someone along that chain of Uniswap that makes this decision that is doing market manipulation and is removing our coin on purpose in order to accumulate. Oh. That's exactly what's going on right now. T tell me it's not. Tell me it's not. Tell me how when you have one of the largest people in crypto having retweets out the wazoo. Do you know who's bigger than Uniswap? Who's a lot bigger than Uniswap? YouTube. Do you know who pays attention when we do a campaign and we have an issue on our channel and we ask for retweets? You know who fixes it within hours? YouTube. Yeah. You're telling me that's reinstating a channel sometimes. That's restoring strides, putting videos back on. And you're telling me that Uniswap, the Uniswap, right? Uniswap don't get it. And Uniswap don't have somebody that can push a button. No. We could get into all of the areas of conflicts of interest with Uniswap 
when it comes to decentralized exchange listings and then censorship of those listings. Yeah. We could get into that. But I'll be honest with you. I get it. I understand it. I understand a copyright notice. I, I was never a fan of that logo. I never wanted that logo on there. I was embarrassed by it. I don't want to be a dog coin, first of all. But second of all, let's come up with something original. Let's give, give something that defines the coin other than another dog coin, another piece of dog crap, right? So <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah. right? And so you're sitting here telling me that Uniswap is too big. You're sitting here telling me that they can't push that button when YouTube can do it. Something's fishing. That's what I'll tell you. Yeah. So everybody needs to, uh, you know, continue to lean on Uniswap, continue to push them. And I'll say this, Uniswap, do you know why Ledger came on my channel yesterday? Because I said I was never going to use them again. They emailed within an hour. We will find alternatives if you want Uniswap. We will go with your biggest com competitors and we will go, we, we will make them partners. I will talk about them every single day. And that's now and that's in the bull run. Ooh. Get this ish fixed. Think about this. Where would the price be? People say this. Our, our, our liquidity, here's what's crazy. Our liquidity hasn't really gone down. Mm -hmm. People are still finding places to trade the coin decentralized. So you may say to yourself, well, people are just finding ways. Some people are finding ways. Do you know how many messages I have on Twitter? I have on Telegram from people saying, Ben, where do I buy this coin? I can't figure it out. They can't sign up for MEXC. They can't sign up for Poloniex. They can't sign up for BitMart. Maybe BitMart. I'm not sure what BitMart's rules are. Uh, Americans can't sign up for that stuff. They do KYC. So, but they can use DEXs. But they can't even, your, your new person can't figure out how to find where the coin is. Go to Dex Tools, by the way. That, that should tell you other exchanges to use it on. Mm -hmm. But think about where this coin would be volume-wise and where this coin would be liquidity-wise and, uh, and consequence price-wise. If all of the people that are sending me, I'm talking hundreds of messages, tweets galore, if they were actually able to buy it on Uniswap, then just imagine what would be going on. Uniswap, you got 24 hours. There we you, go. You got 24 hours, Uniswap. And I tell you what, if you do it close to the 24th hour, I'm still coming at you. You milk that clock, you're going to show your cards. I'm pissed about it. I, I, I'm pissed about it at this point. At this point, it's gone too far. You, you know who responded and helped me fix stuff? CoinMarketCap, mm. CoinGecko, Etherscan. The only one that can't is the one where the most volume is. Hmm. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? But what I want to just point out real quick, everybody's wondering, we get this green candle. And of course, this is pink because this is a relative extrema showing there's some weakness in this candle. But these are the levels that I'm watching right now. If we get it back above this, we, it's still not super bullish on this reversal until we break 27.5. That's what we're watching for. Of course, if we keep pushing up beyond that, we, we have to get above 1,000. Then we can think about 31,000. Uh, visiting back to this level, my sort of line in the sand, we're going to actually continue maybe testing into the 24s is this 5.8. Uh, now, if we look very quickly on uh, the other indicators, we can see market intelligence is showing right here that once we bounce into this box that I've had drawn for quite some time, and you can see, you can see the boxes I draw are areas that targets uh, tend to come down to. We dipped right into there. We have, I think, four or five. We have five, five bullish divergences coming into the zone. Now, of course, we're pushing up, but this is still well under the golden pocket area. This is not super bullish until we break some key levels. So I just want people to be patient. Relative Extrema is showing that it's, it's very out of context. And the only other thing I'll say is be patient on this. And on BitLab Academy, a lot of people don't realize if you've ever had a membership ever and you've canceled, if you log into the account uh, with the account information that you've had before, you can still go in, basically sign in, go click on my account, uh, and then go to uh, subscriptions. You can resubscribe at the old rate because if you're ever a member before, we want you to be able to still lock in that old $29.99 rate. And by the way, if you're not a member yet, you can use 
Give me 30 for 30% off uh, the, the indicators, the BitLab training stack, and the courses. Uh, and we've got a lot of uh, updates coming into the course. Uh, we got all the trading strategy stuff, a lot of it at least, uh, yeah. being uploaded this weekend. So look out for that. That's all I got. Yeah, can, real quick, can you pull up the chart one more time? I just, can you zoom in on the, on the golden pocket? Just real quick. I want to do this for my own personal. The zoom golden pocket it. would be, let me go auto. And we bounce it off the golden pockets. So that's good, right? No, this isn't the golden pocket. This is this is just a trend line. Uh, I could just tell gold, by eyeballing it. I mean, it looked a little wide. We came, we, we came, we basically came up right at it and rejected, yeah. and we're trading. We we're trading right below oh, this yeah, trend yeah. line as well. A okay. uh, quick tip for everybody: if you are on charts, you don't always have to go back and forth to this toolbar. You can on your computer press Option or Alt, depending on if you're PC or Mac, and then F, and then you get your your Fibonacci oh. immediately. Quick tip. Yeah. Uh, now, now, yeah. now we're, what, uh, we the, got a lot of watch here. Is that daily? This is a, th this is a four hour, four hour. Wh we, where, where is the cross of those lines at the intersection of those lines that you drew on the, on the four hour? Uh, which specific lines are you to talking the right, about? To the right, Up to the right, to the right, nope, to the right, 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 that intersection, right. that intersection of the, of the, that line right there yeah. and the one underneath it. Go farther, further, 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 where they cross, where they cross right there. Where's the cross? What is that? What date is that? This would be uh, right about June 17th, which is in line with what I'm thinking. Mm, I think we're going to get yeah. a small choppiness, choppiness through the first week of June. And if we are going to get a bullish impact, I do think uh, depending on what Hong Kong and China and all them do about the digital asset on ramps, if that does come to pass, I do think we can have a lot of liquidity coming into the market. And that will be the time when the uncertainty about the debt ceiling, I think by that time, hopefully is finally dispelled and uh, some people can start uh, getting liquidity back into the market. So. If we Beautiful. do get over to this zone, even if we dip further and trickle back up, I do think around mid-June uh, into July, we, we could be getting a strong uh, bullish impulse. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, I, I think, it, you know, it's right before that FOMC meeting. 14th, yeah. 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 So and, the, think, the, I, you I, know, I, it went over, my, over the last week. It, it went from like 20% up to around 50% of the yeah. speculation of uh, whether or not we're getting the rate hike. So there's a lot of, I mean, it's a, it's a, 30 a lot of uncertainty in the markets. 30% that we would get a rate yeah. hike, 70% we wouldn't. Uh, we're not getting wow. a rate hike, guys. It's not coming. So it's going to be really bullish. And the fact that there's still 30% people thinking that we will, you know, that, that right there tells me everything I need to know. The, uh, the reason I wanted you to show that, Kelly, is because I had a suspicion that that's where that intersection was, was around that time. Um, we're going to have a big move to the upside, in my opinion, before that intersection. And so we were looking at uh, Glassnode Analytics about how um, when I can't remember what cross it was, what, you know, what days it was, the DMA or whatever it was. Uh, we were looking at Glassnode the other day. All four of the previous times when it happened was right before a big breakout. That's on the daily chart. Mm. What you just looked at was the four hour chart. So you can compress that time that you were looking at in between those last candles by six. Right. Um, and, and so the, the point is, is that I think it's going to move before that um, and start. But definitely, in my opinion, by seven, I think we're moving up. I don't think we're moving down. Um, guys, we just found out today we're going to get into it. There's debt ceiling deal possibly reached. Stocks were starting to move up. We could see it before that, but that's kind of the deadline. So we'll see what happens. We might get but back. Check up. this out. Yeah. This three, day, three day chart. Yeah. Day chart. This is why I love the BitLab trading stack. Yeah. This uh, significant movement is an mm. aggregation, uh, aggregate indicator looking at a lot of different momentum indicators. This is flashing green, uh, blue on the three-day chart, showing that there's a consensus between momentum indicators that we've finally gotten yeah. to an undervalued level and that we could be seeing a, a, a cycle, basically this trend cycle bottom uh, developing. We want to see the spillover into the daily, uh, which it, uh, it has. Uh, so uh, we're... This is, it's looking good, but it doesn't mean it's all up from here. I think there's going to be some work to do in the next uh, about 13. Here's the deal. Hourglass Collective is trying to do for adoption and entertainment what we're trying to do with our four pillars. Now, of course, you can say public awareness and um, entertainment line up and they're kind of the same channel. Um, but this goes much deeper than just that. 20K vet, 15K XRP, uh, $10,000 in, what is NCT? Look that up. Uh, 8K, I got nicotine, nocturnal, Nick, why do I know what that is? Ton, how, how do I know what that is? Holly Swarm. I have no idea what that is. H-bar, 8K, uh, 5K gal, I actually like that pick then because it's off the wall. 5K hex, 1K bin, thanks, 
Um, uh, let's see. Alex, <sighs> for the bar. Look, somebody gave me a big long list of coins yesterday and said, which one would I choose on that list? Uh, Cardano XRP were not on that list. Uh, Polygon was not on that list. Algorand was on that list. Um, there were about 20 coins that are in the top 100 there. I, I chose VCoin, uh, VeChain out of that list. Things got a lot of upside. Algorand, obviously, I could have easily chosen. It's the other one I could have chose. Um, but definitely, um, uh, VeChain, I think, does have high potential. I would say that you've got enough money in your portfolio that you could be a slightly more diversified. I do like your 15K in XRP. Um, I don't know much about Polyswarm. Uh, Gala, you guys know, I don't love Gala, but I, I like some off-the-wall picks.